Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Lady Survival or Brooke and today I'm going to be sharing how I grew from 10,000 followers to 60,000 followers in about four months on Instagram. Before I get into how I did it, I want to share a little bit of my backstory because I wasn't starting from zero. So let's talk a little bit about that. So basically I've had my current Instagram since 2012 and also this YouTube channel since 2012. So it's been a very long process of trying to grow it up until just March of this year, so March 2023, I had 11,000 followers on my Instagram and then I have about 9 or 10,000 here. So as you can see, that took me like 10 years alone and that was with me not really taking it super seriously. It was always really random and inconsistent and I just posted whenever I wanted, but in the back of my mind I was always like, it'd be really cool to be an Instagram influencer or a YouTuber. I remember back in around November, December of 2022, I kind of started to play around with doing reels. Instagram at the time was paying for reels. They had like this bonus program where you could make some money from reels. So I was like, I'm just going to try to do some stuff. But over, I think three or four months. So from like November, December, January, February, I think I made like $200, which was pretty cool because they didn't even get that many views like they all got a couple thousand views and then unfortunately i think around the end of february or like early march instagram stopped paying for reels and then i think i got kind of discouraged and i was like oh i don't even want to try to do this not even really because they weren't paying anymore but just because i sucked at it anyways so i kind of ended up taking like a one month break of not posting any reels but i was still seeing so many other people and girls on instagram doing really well with reels and getting a lot of views so the idea of doing reels was still in my mind but i just felt like i was really bad at them and then randomly i remember there was one day in march i kind of just had a little sit down with myself and i was like okay I feel like I suck at reels, but I'm not gonna get better at reels and have the opportunity to maybe grow my page like how everyone else around me is growing their page unless I get over the fear of posting reels. So I kind of took it as like a challenge to myself and I was like, I'm just gonna post a reel every day even if it's silly or cringy or not good or doesn't do well because eventually in a few months maybe I'll get better at them. So if you feel like that too, the biggest thing is to just do it and literally just not care and start posting them because as you do it, you'll start to get better at it and feel less weird about it. Eventually, over like, I think a week or so, I noticed they were starting to get like anywhere from 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, or 15,000 views, which was like really crazy to me because I wasn't getting that much reach initially, which just gave me more motivation to keep going. It's kind of like how many more views can they get? And then my followers were growing to 15K, 20K, 25K, and it was just getting crazy. I couldn't believe how quickly it was going and really all that I was doing was posting every single day. Um, I remember my husband kept telling me that once you kind of get it rolling, like don't stop. Because if you get that boost going where it's actually pumping the algorithm and then if you stop posting, you could lose it and then have a harder time kind of re-engaging that. So I just always kept that in my mind every day and really made a point of being like, I have to post today, I have to make a reel. If I can't make a reel, I at least have to make a normal post of some kind. I feel like through explaining my experience and my mindset and my motivations to keep going, it might help you to understand and hopefully inspire you to try some of the things that you might not usually like to stick with. Let's go back in time to March and let's take a look at some of the reels that I was posting. And one of them even ended up going semi-viral and has around 330k views right now, which is funny because that one was like the most low effort one that I made. It was super random. I was like, I'm just going to make this little mirror selfie video because I don't know what else to do today. And that one went well. So let's take a look at them. Hello, please have some zero effort content because this app doesn't care when we do put out. On today's episode of I Feel Like Trash, but at least my outfit is cute, may I present to you my outfit. This is my outfit for today. And if you don't like it, you could leave. Okay, love you. So that's roughly the kind of content that I'm making. A lot of it is just sort of showing off like an outfit that I'm wearing that day or I'll use a sound. Like what I'll do is I'll scroll through Instagram. If I come across a sound that I'm like, hey, I could maybe make a reel with this. I save the sound and I just have a bunch of saved sounds that if there's ever a day where I'm like, I don't know what to post as a reel today, I can just go through that and be like, oh, I'll, I'll do this one today. And I will admit there's definitely days where I don't feel like posting a reel because getting ready 
doing your makeup and your hair and putting an outfit on is a whole event. As much as I hate it, I just remind myself what the bigger end goal is and that is I really want to be an Instagram influencer. I try really hard to make it as fun as I can. Um, I'll sit down, this is my little vanity where I get ready. I'll put on some fun music, emo music is like my jam, so I'll just put that on and pretend that I'm like a rock star or something even though I'm not, but just like the vibe of like yeah, I'm getting ready to film my reels because I'm an Instagram influencer and it's like even if I'm not there yet, which a few months ago I wasn't there yet and I'm not saying that like I'm there there, but I mean I am getting brand collabs now and free product, which is ultimately a few years ago, younger Brooke would have been completely mind blown that that was even a thing. And for the most part, after I do finish putting on my makeup and putting on an outfit, I feel pretty good and it's kind of like, okay, yeah, I sort of suffered through the last hour of getting ready, but now that we're here and I'm feeling cute and I can make a reel and post it and start engaging with comments and getting the views, getting the follower count up, it all becomes worth it in the end. So I want to go back into talking about how often I post, which for the most part, uh, once a day is my ultimate like sweet spot. If you can post once a day, that's going to be the best. Um, but there were some days and there are some days where I post one or two times. Maybe it'll be one reel and one post or two reels or two posts. But for the most part, try to post once a day. But that's really only if you can. If that's something that you absolutely can't do and you're like, there is no way that I could post once a day, it's better to be consistent with something than it is to try to push yourself to do something that you can't stick with. So if you know that you can't post once a day, instead just be like, no, I'm gonna post once a week or twice a week and whatever actually you can consistently do just do that so this is where i kind of want to get into the topic of like batch content which i don't really do the same way that other people do i feel like other people are like oh batch your content and somehow they manage to get like a week or two or a month's worth of content I can't do that personally, but what I like to do, I guess is something that maybe I would call mini batching. And basically what that is to me is kind of taking advantage of whatever outfit I have on, like say today, I got ready today, I got my makeup on, I have a little outfit on, if I went to all the trouble of putting this on, I'm going to take more than one piece of content. So this is basically how it'll go down. I'm probably going to make one to two reels. One of the reels might be me showing my outfit off. So I'll go and stand somewhere in my room and film me like posing and just doing whatever. And that'll be one reel where it's just, here's my outfit with some music over it. I'll also take some photos of that outfit of me kind of like standing. So I'll take actual like photos that aren't mirror selfies so then that's two different things and i'll usually post the photos as like a carousel and then after that i'll just take like a bunch of mirror selfies i don't know i'll take like 50 i'll take like 10 over here maybe 10 over there just a variety so that i know if some of them didn't turn out at least some of them hopefully did and then also somewhere in there if i'm up for it i will film another reel maybe like a lip sync one where you use a sound and like you lip sync to it. If you take a look through my feed, you can kind of see there's like clumps of the same look and that's just because I'm posting them over a day or two. And another thing to go along with posting on your feed is to make sure to keep stuff on your story. I'm not the best at this. Usually all that I post on my story is just like I'll make my new post on my feed and then I'll just share that to my story and be like new post, which isn't the best. Technically what you're supposed to do on your story is post more kind of like actual content of like you like for example if i had my phone if i was like hey guys like today i'm gonna be doing this i'm going to the thrift store what are you doing today people like to see more kind of like real stuff into your life where i could take like a selfie with like my coffee cup or show sometimes if i'm working on a youtube video i'll take a picture or a video of my video that i'm working on and be like hey here's my YouTube video, it should be up later today. That's what you should technically post, but honestly, just sharing your own posts and saying new post, new reel is better than nothing because you're still gonna show up on the stories tab for people. So try to always have something on your story. And next on the topic of engagement, I feel like this one I'm really, really good at. And I don't know how much it's helped me, but I think that it's helped a lot. And I feel like I see a ton of other content creators not doing this, but I reply to pretty much every single comment. Like if I can, I will reply to it. And if I don't reply to it, I like it. The reason why I do like and reply to people, mostly on reels too, because if you think about it, let's say Jimmy left a comment on your reel an hour ago. If you like that comment, Jimmy's gonna get a notification that you like that comment. He's probably gonna click on it to go and see it, which means your reel gets another view. Say if I get like 
30 comments on my reel, if I like and reply to all of those, there's a very high chance that those same 30 people who commented are gonna come back to look at my comment. It's kind of like you're doubling up on your views. Even on older reels, if you get notifications that someone commented on a reel, even if it's like from weeks ago, go like and reply to it if you can, if you're able to reply something. And also on that topic, when you make a post, like say you just posted a photo or a reel, don't disappear off the app. Cause sometimes I do do this sometimes, which isn't good, but 90% of the time when I make a post, I stick around on the app for like 20 minutes or so. So as new comments come in, I'm there to reply to them right away. I think that Instagram really Really likes that because then it shows that you're not just like putting your phone down and just leaving it. Another really good thing to do for engagement, which I'm not perfect at, but I try to remind myself when I can, and that is to go and comment on other people's posts. So usually what I'll do, I'll just scroll my feed and if I see anyone who's kind of in my niche or just my aesthetic, which for the most part it is those people because I follow those people, try to comment on at least, I don't know, maybe like five people's posts and just say something, hopefully more than just cute or an emoji like try to give it more substance like be like wow i really love this outfit it looks great on you hope you're having a good day you can even do this by going onto the explore page there's a good chance that if they're not following you yet and if you comment on their stuff they might follow you back or give you some comments so in this section i want to talk about um some of my more viral reels not like super viral but i've had a couple that have got over 300k, 400k, 600k, somewhere around that mark. To be honest, a lot of these ones, I don't even know why they went viral. Like, it doesn't even make sense to me. I felt like they were kind of super low effort. Like, I just made them real quick on days where I'm like, I don't know what to post today. Ah, okay, I'm just going to post this. I don't know. And for some reason, those ones tend to do well. Uh, and another thing that's really crazy about them is I think that they all went viral like a few weeks later. I think I've heard of something called like delayed exposure or something like that. It's almost like they don't do that well on the first day or the first couple days or the first week. And then randomly a week or two later, it'll start snowballing. And it's like, it was at 8,000 views. And then you go and look and now it's at 60 now it's at 80 now it's at 150k 200k don't ever like delete any of your posts like if you feel like you posted something and like it didn't do that well you literally never know a few weeks later it could blow up and get hundreds of thousands of views and i think these couple reels that have gotten a couple hundred thousand views is the main reason why i grew i'm almost kind of realizing it right now as i'm talking about it i think that that kind of is the trick or that is the reason why it's important to post consistently and to post as much as you can like how i try to post once a day i don't really think it's so much about the consistency like i think it is because when people see you every day it's kind of like they're always thinking of you and they're always kind of subconsciously waiting to see your post for that day which makes them like kind of loyal followers or fans or whatever which i think helps the algorithm but ultimately what i think it is is every time you post you literally never know if it's going to go viral like your next post could go viral and you don't know when it's going to happen or what it's going to be and it's not even like you can plan it but every time you post it's like you're throwing out a another chance to blow up and I remember when I had the reels that were getting over like 200k views like my followers were just rapidly going up like I was getting hundreds if not like a thousand or two thousand followers a day sometimes while they were at their peak just know that as you're posting a reel it could go viral even if it sucks sometimes because it sucks that's what will make it go viral and that actually leads me into the next thing which is getting hate comments which really only happens for the most part on my viral videos the reason why that happens is because Instagram is pushing it out to a larger audience and what that means is like here's your normal audience that you get which are all people who follow you and love you so they're gonna give you lots of support and a lot of nice comments but if you get a reel that goes viral or is just really pumping in the algorithm you're stepping outside of the usual people who follow you so you might get some hate comments which really sucks it's not very pleasant but what I always try to remind myself is these hate comments are here because Instagram just pushed my content like so far that there's a ton of people so it's kind of like this is worth it because yeah even though you might get like 10 20 30 hate comments you're still getting probably more 
good comments than you are bad comments and you're getting a ton of followers out of it too. Do your best to ignore them. Sometimes I reply to them, you really shouldn't. The best thing to do is literally just ignore them. You can even delete the comments, but I just like to leave them for the most part unless it's like really, really nasty. The biggest thing that's going to help you grow is if you can manage to get some reels to go viral, but none of this can be planned. I've never posted a reel and been like, this one's gonna go viral. Or even sometimes I'll think, I'll be like, oh, this one will go well, and it doesn't even do that well. So it's not like you'll ever know, but through posting a lot of reels, the more reels that you post, the better. Even if you want it to go crazy, if you have time to post one, two, three, or four reels a day, do it. The only thing that posting that much might hurt is you might annoy some of your followers, maybe. So I guess be careful. So but... now I'm gonna go into the topic of brand collabs, which I think is really exciting and probably one of the main reasons you might be here watching this. And I think personally, it's one of the coolest things that I've been able to do so far through growing my Instagram following. The first thing I wanna mention on that topic is the type of content that you make is gonna attract certain people or brands. So what I mean by that is for me personally I've been doing a lot of outfit stuff it's just literally me kind of showing off my style on Instagram and through that I've managed to get a lot of collabs with clothing brands as punk design vampire freaks hot topic whereas on the other hand if I was to start making specifically a bunch of like makeup tutorial videos I'm sure that makeup companies would start reaching out to me being like hey we want to send you our lipstick or our eyeliner or if you made skincare videos you'd probably get skincare stuff sent to you. Um, as far as how I managed to start getting brand collabs, I pretty much didn't have to do anything. I actually did, I think I got my first ever brand collab back in 2022 or 2021. I don't really remember, but a brand called Punk Design reached out to me and I've actually worked with them like maybe three or four times before and they reached out to me. I didn't even have to do anything. So for the most part, brands will come to you. So back like a year or two ago, I would super, super sparsely, like I would maybe get like one collab a year, maybe two if I was lucky. But since growing my Instagram, I think it started at around 15K followers and I did have that brand Punk Design reach out to me again, but they had worked with me before. But as I got to 15K, 20K, 25 and 30, it was really in that mark that a lot of brands started wanting to collab and collab multiple times. For example, with Vampire Freaks, I think we've collabed like four, three or four times. So I've had quite a few things sent to me from them. I got Hot Topic pretty recently, which was like, I was super freaking out over Hot Topic because it's Hot Topic. I've got uh, a hair dye brand reach out to me and I was able to pick three different hair dyes and that's how I did this. The collab was with Eero Eero and I'm just mentioning it because there might be some people who wonder what my hair is. I'll put a link down below. Um, I have a discount code for 20% off and that one I actually have like an affiliate thing where I get 10% of the sales. I think that's the only one where I have like an affiliate thing going on. So yes, as of right now, all of the brands that I've worked with so far have just been for free product in exchange for my reels or photos or whatever, which at this point I'd have to say I don't mind doing them for free because it's actually helped me to grow because they'll usually repost you on their page. I just view it as like practice time. It's a great thing for me to post and potentially get more brands to reach out for me. It's kind Kind of like you're building a portfolio like brands won't know that you can do something until you're doing it if that makes sense and i would assume once you get big enough like maybe by the time i'm at like 80k or 100k followers i'm sure that there will be some brands that might reach out to me to do paid collabs so it's just kind of a means to an end kind of thing and i just don't mind every single brand that's worked with me so far usually will just reach out to me through instagram dm so you'll just literally see a message from them in there there's been a couple where they first dm me on instagram and then they move over to emails like they're like hey what's your email so we can continue the conversation in email oh, um, so i think that that was everything that i wanted to cover please feel free to leave any questions. If there's enough questions or things that I didn't cover well enough, I'll of course make another video just kind of answering specific questions. And I also want to make a video of the behind the scenes of how I make my reels and just kind of like how I come up with ideas, how I film them, how I edit them, anything like that. So if you guys have any specific questions about reels, feel free to ask me about them too and I'll try to make some videos. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at Lady Survival Wow, but I'll have it down in the description and everything so you can check it out there. So I hope that you all have have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!